Finally, in this the little media browser area over here, the last thing here is themes. And themes are basically just little collections of similar styled transitions and titles. And so you can pick one of these themes and be sure that all of the transitions you use and all of the titles you use are going to have a consistent style. So if you could choose, you know, cinema and then use these particular titles and it gives you a bunch of different options here. You know, and as well, there's some transitions. There's, I guess, in this case, there's only one transition effect. This little uh, lens flarey thing. And so, for but for each of these, you usually get a combination of transitions and titles. And you apply these exactly the same way you apply transitions and titles that we've already covered. The only difference is that these are categorized in a way so that there's consistency. Uh, and just to make things extra confusing, all of these titles and transitions are also found in the transitions and titles categories. So you can you get them all there as well as here in the themes. And some of these themes are perfectly nice and elegant, and you, you may find great use for them. So you can go through and experiment with these different ones and choose the, the, the theme that matches your project best, and then use those transitions if you need transitions, and use those titles as you need titles, and so forth. And you'll, again, there's a, there's a plenty here to choose from. You can experiment with different ones. And of course, you can easily replace one. So if you choose, all right, we're going to use that to be our, you know, make that into our uh, transition here. And then we later change our mind to go to a different setting here. We can go to a different one and just drag and drop one transition right onto another. And the transition is replaced. And there you get, you know, the, the new one appears. And uh, wow, this is one of the slowest rendering things I've ever seen in Final Cut. I wonder what this thing is. <laughs> Um, I, you know, as you probably could tell from my tone, I'm not a huge fan of these themes because I feel like they probably are going to get a little bit overused, even though there's quite a few to choose from, it's going to be pretty quick before you're going to see a bunch of them in, you know, on YouTube and in other places. And once you've seen them once or twice in a high profile environment, they kind of lose their value because then it looks like you're just copying some other, some other editor, which isn't great. But nonetheless, they are certainly fun and cool for now. Uh, one nice little thing, this is a kind of a cool one. The, there are some transitions that you'll see have these little um, additional frames. Let's just play over this and see what this is. Right, so this is like pretending to be a little comic book. And in between the two shots, we're cutting from this shot to this shot over here. The, there are these two still frames that are there on the, on the screen. And you can choose what still frames you want to use by dragging these little stick pins. You can drag them to a frame in your project, any frame at all, and then those become the new frames for that transition. So whenever you have those things, you see one corresponds with one and two corresponds with two. If, you've ever see, if you ever see these little things, they're only going to be there when you select the transition. So I select the transition, and those little pop-ups appear, and then you just drag them to the frame. You can see the preview up there in the window. You drag them to the frame that you want to be the, the picture and the image, and then they'll go away when you let go. Now, those are still images. They're not... They're not, uh, they're not movies. You're just picking the individual frames that you want to use for those additional frames as part of that theme transition.